New at 10 tonight, April is National Donate Life Month, a time to raise awareness for organ donation. One North Alabama woman's wish to continue her life was granted thanks to a surprising match for her failing kidney. Florence native Jada McIntosh now has a healthy kidney, and as News 19's Daryl Burke reports, her younger brother was her donor. I'm grateful I was able to do it. Jada McIntosh and Jawan Beckwith are an inseparable brother and sister duo. Recently, the two successfully completed kidney transplant surgeries after doctors discovered McIntosh had a failing kidney. Jay, how you feeling? I'm okay. I'm good. You're a good brother. It was a, a hard, long process. An unthinkable match came from her brother. Due to his active lifestyle in the gym, Jawan was the perfect pairing for a healthy kidney. His sister credits him for saving her life. He really is my hero, and I love him. I, lo I, I love him, and I thank you for it, brother. I really do, because I, I needed to be here for my daughter and my family. Doctors informed the family that a match could take five to seven years, and she would have to undergo treatments for dialysis in order to remain alive. The news was devastating for the 28-year-old, but she never lost hope. Her brother tells me he felt a calling to step in for the betterment of his sister's health. I think the Lord guided me to give it to her because I was working out six days a week, six years straight, nonstop. Made me feel grateful and happy because I was able to help her keep going and be, give my niece a mom that's able to move around. Their mother, Chandra Stewart, was there with her children for the entire journey. She says it was difficult seeing her daughter go through the process, but she has a message for parents who may be waiting for their child to find a kidney match. Don't lose hope. Be right there by them. Always don't say anything negative. Always be positive. Make sure they know they are loved. It could be a year. It could be two years. It could be whatever, but still stick by your child. That donor will come. Following their surgeries in March, the two are back home now, feeling good on the road to a full recovery. McIntosh is thankful for the support of her loved ones and couldn't be more grateful for her baby brother's gift. I had the right people around me to guide me, the right people that prayed for me to guide me in this process. And if it wasn't for them and faith in God, and especially my family, I don't think I would have continued to go through the process. In Lauderdale County, Daryl Burke, News 19. Now, the family says they want more light shed on organ donation, especially when it comes to minorities. According to the National Kidney Foundation, black Americans are three times more likely to suffer from kidney failure. Big Spring Park and